What's up guys, it's Josh with the Preset Bros and today I'm gonna show you how I made the synth to this Tech House track. Alright guys, so that was the sound we'll be working on today and before we jump into it, if you don't want to miss any of our future content, definitely subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can become a master of your sound. We also have a free gift for you guys at the end of the video, so definitely stay tuned for that and without any further ado, let's jump in. Alright guys, so this is the sound we'll be working on today and let's just go ahead and hear it soloed really quick. So just your classic Tech House chord stab. And this is actually a preset from our Tech House Volume 1 preset pack. We have a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. So jumping right into it, for Oscillator A, we have the MSPW wavetable. Uh, we have plus seven semitone and just a little bit of fine tune. And I kind of went over this in another video, but uh, if you want to get some really cool um, chord sounds, uh, go ahead and mess with the semitones um, on your oscillators. Uh, mess with them like to plus three, plus four, plus five, plus seven. You can get some really cool uh, chords for any of the house genres by doing that. I do have the wavetable position at 39. For oscillator B, I have the Ooh-Yah-Hu wavetable. Um, one voice unison, wavetable position at 173. And I did pull that level knob back just a little bit to 67. Now I am taking these sounds and I am throwing them through a filter, the MG Low 24. I have the cutoff at about 200 hertz, the res at 23, and the drive at 35, and the fat knob at 39. Now as far as shaping the sound, I am using the envelope section. So for envelope one, I've uh, I made the attack a little longer at 13 milliseconds, pulled the decay down at 632, and pulled the sustain all the way back, gave it a little bit of release. Envelope two, I did a similar thing, uh, 1.6 milliseconds, pulled the decay back to two, 324, and pulled the sustain all the way back and gave it some more release. Now if you notice, I am modulating some parameters with envelope two, and uh, I'm modulating the cutoff of the filter for 23 and the resonance at 38. And uh, between this shape and the filter, all that's doing is it's just kind of providing that pluck. It's whipping that filter open a little bit and bringing it right back um, for that plucking shape. As far as the front, that's pretty much all that's going on. Let's jump over to the effects. So the effects are pretty simple. I have some hyper dimension. Um, the size on the dimension is at 63 and the mix is at 39. I'm using a compressor as well. I don't have any delay on and I don't have any reverb. I finished the sound by cutting some of the lows and boosting a little bit of the highs. I am cutting the lows at about 400 hertz and I'm boosting the highs around 2500 just by 5 dB. So just kind of brighten up that hit just a little bit. As far as the preset goes, that is pretty much it for this sound. Um, there is something I did in the MIDI that I do want to touch on just really quick. Um, so if you notice, I am only using two notes for each chord, and that is because, again, I have that plus seven semitone, so I already have kind of a chord going on, even if I just hit one note here in the synth. And so I would recommend maybe doing two chords. You can mess around with three, but I would, I would keep it pretty simple. Um, I did split it up quite a bit in the drop here. So if you listen to the chords here, and then we can listen to them here. So I just jumped an octave there just to kind of give it a different vibe for the drop to let the listener know, hey, there's a drop coming. So um, I know you also noticed a high layer right here as well. And this is just the same exact sound. It's just up an octave. So we can listen to that. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this video and this sound. I hope you learned something. I hope you got inspired. I hope you can use this for your next Tech House banger. I did mention we had a free gift for you guys, and that is this sound down below. Uh, if you want to just go ahead and download it, it's right there in the description. Also, if you liked the serum skin that I was using in this video, we're doing a deal right now on our website where if you buy any of our packs, we will give you this serum skin for free. So if you want to check that out, there is a link down below as well for that. Be sure to check out our other Tech House video where I show you guys how I made the bass sound that you hear in this track. 
Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay creative. Yeah.